Good Sunday morning everybody. Time for a cup of coffee or as my husband likes to call it, my bucket of coffee. I hope this Sunday set finds you fantastic. Uh, oh, need to work on that light, don't I? Bit of a gloomy day outside again today, although it is summer in Australia. We're having an extremely wet summer, so I might do a reading in, later in the week to um, have a look at the weather for everybody. Um, to see um, what the weather's going to do around the world. But for today, we are doing um, Oracle Sunday to see what message Meister has for us to take forward into the, into the week coming. Now, if you like um, us in Australia, most of us have put our Christmas trees up already. Um, I must admit I'm a little bit of a bar humbug when it comes to Christmas, but I do love my little character here. This is Benny, and he makes my Christmas delight. If I can get him to work, oh, come on, Benny. Ready, set, go! And with that, he's off. So <laughs> that's my Benny. Um, for those that are old enough to remember, the real reason I call him Benny is because of um, the Benny Hill tune. Um, not would not pass muster today in this day and age, and neither should it. But uh, yes, Benny is my little joy over Christmas. Now, there are, I do like Christmas. I mean, my family loves Christmas. Um, the reason I get a bit hum, bar humbug about it is because Christmas has turned into such a uh, commercial um, time of year, um, which exacerbates the differences between the haves and haves not. You end up with children thinking, you know, maybe they haven't been good because they didn't get as brilliant a present as um, Freddie from school um, and that's just a case of economics with the parents rather than the children themselves so um, you know okay yes it's nice for the kids to get a present from Santa but perhaps have the present from Santa something simple and enjoyable or, or a necessity um, new school bag lollies well can't say lollies are a necessity but they're, they're the enjoyable factor um, some clothes, colouring pens or, or something from Santa for the young children that is simple and non-comparable uh, and then have the rest come from the parents themselves and you know kids are kids are smart they know they know your financial situation whatever that may be um, and they do they are aware so would be nice um, to uh, Make it more about the children, more about the love, more about the coming together rather than the commercial and the pressure and the stress that's put on for just one single day of the year. Anyhow, that's not what I'm here to talk about. So you've now met Benny, you've had my soapbox about Christmas. Let's see what Meister wants to tell us. Meister and the guides. I've got at least two other guides here today. I have a series that pop in and out. Uh, always very positive and lovely characters. So let us see what message do you have for us? What do we need to be aware of in our lives this week? This week. The week beginning today. Oh. Now, for those that haven't seen me before, the format is as I pull out a Namaste card, which gives us an overall, and then I use three other decks to delve a little bit deeper. And what message do you have for us today? Oh, what a beautiful card. I mean, they are all beautiful, but some are beautiful. -er. Right, the card I've pulled today is, is this card. I don't know if you can see the colours. As I said, it's a funny old day outside. It's sort of glary and gloomy at the same time. And this, what it's telling us today is something beautiful soon manifests 
Trust all that is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and all concerned. Have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts. A blessed gift is on the way. So something beautiful soon manifests. Trust that all is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and all concerned. Have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts. Which is good advice for this time of year, but follows on from, uh, there it is if you need to pause it and read it for yourself, follows on from last week when we were talking about doors opening. Uh, you know, doors, doors closing and windows opening and all sorts of things. So further on that, something beautiful is soon going to manifest. Uh, three cards from my wildfire oracle reading cards. All Australian wildflower cards. Something beautiful soon manifests. Trust that it is unfolding. Trust that it is going on behind the scenes. So this a common theme that seems to run through all my readings, and I learnt long ago, stress and worry solves absolutely nothing. All you can do is plod yourself, plod your way through what needs to be done. What is done will be done. What needs to be done will happen. Okay. If, it's, if what you're trying to achieve is too hard and not working, reassess whether that's actually what you want. Um, because what the universe has in store for you is not usually, you need to go through the steps, but it is not usually difficult to achieve. So something is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and those you love, all those concerned. Okay, three cards please Master, three clarifier cards from the wildflower. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, Hoya, no oh, I haven't drawn this one before, alignment. Well that's pretty accurate in what we were talking about. The Swamp Lily for energy. And then the Sun Dew, which again I haven't drawn before, for focus. I don't even know that I've drawn the Swamp Lily. Base of the pack, creativity. Often pops up for us, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got alignment. So that comes down to what we were talking about with the... Um, um, <coughs> Uh, if it's not if it's not happening, then maybe it's not meant to happen. Okay, then I'll use my cosmic guidance. We'll draw three cards from that just to clarify on these as well. It's nice to three cards. Sunday was Sunday Oracle, please. If you can hear some scraping, that spot. He's always always dragged his feet. Even as a puppy. <laughs> Hasn't slowed him down, but it keeps his toenails beautifully trimmed. Three cards, please. Three cards, please, Spirit. To clarify this Namaste card. This Namaste card on something that is unfolding in the most perfect way. What have we got? Right. Ooh, mystery. Again, a new card for me. Secrets and hidden meanings. So this week is giving me all new happy endings. End of a chapter. And don't stop. A miracle is around the corner. Okay. That's actually very um, specific. With something beautiful soon manifests. Don't stop. Okay, and lastly, so we'll draw another three cards. These are from my Light Seers Tarot. These are my family and friends cards. These are the cards that I use when I'm reading for family and friends. They speak to me on a beautiful level, on a deep level. And that's why I'm, I thought a couple of weeks ago, um, that's why. Meister suggested I use them for a third 
card, third opinion, third view, viewpoint in these readings um, to share with my Lightseers family, which is you, my love and light family. Let's see what it brings us. Three cards, please. Three cards, please, Spirit, in regards to have faith and continue to hold positive in regards that something is unfolding in the most perfect way. Three cards, please, something is unfolding. Oh, Ace of Swords, so this is a new beginning. Three of Pentacles of working together. And this is can be burdened, but I always read this card as packing up your bags and moving on. Well, then we've got death and rebirth. Okay, let's have a look at them in total. So what we've got, we've got alignment, mystery, and the ace of swords. Hang on, I might pop this up. This is We've got Alignment, Mystery, and the Ace of Swords. So, to me, Alignment's telling me about um, what, what we were talking about before and what we have talked about in different weeks is um, what it, the universe has in store for you. Yes, you have to go through the steps. Yes, you have to take advantage. Yes, you have to get, grab the opportunities. But um, if it feels like a very fr a frustrating battle, a um, things are just not falling into place as they should, despite the steps that you are going through, then that is not what's right for you. So um, reassess and and look at what is um, aligning yourself with what the universe is trying to give you. So we've got the secrets and hidden meanings, mystery. Now this card is a bit of a mystery to me because I haven't had it before. But I think what it is, is this is coming back to the alignment, coming back to assessing what the universe is trying to uh, offer you. Uh, not it's not necessarily a secret and a hidden meaning, but... Um, you just have to be aware of putting yourself into alignment and all will be revealed. And then we have the Ace of Swords, which is the revealing of the truth. So that flows on quite nicely with those. So making sure you're in alignment with what you actually want, what your purpose is. Um, the secrets and hidden meanings will be revealed. This is a cat and a full moon. I mean, the full moon exposes a lot. And uh, then the Ace of Swords. So this is the bringing forward of your truth. Okay, the next lot, the next row we have is the energy, happy endings, and working together. I think that's probably fairly self-explanatory, but this is about um, putting your energy into achieving your goals, and that comes with the trust that all is unfolding in the most perfect way. Uh, have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts. Something beautiful is soon manifesting. So this is your happy ending. So this is the something beautiful soon manifesting. To do with uh, your community, your family, uh, working together on, a, on something that is beautiful for all. And then the last row we have focus, and again these are quite relevant to each other. So we've got focus, so um, focusing on what it is that is going to bring this alignment for you. And this is the don't stop, A miracle is around the corner. So again this is focusing on the task, uh, the way forward, the dream, the um, the positivity, um, you know, you've got the, the, the gemstones literally one shovel full away, 
again under a full moon. We've got the full moon. So, I mean, I know these are my cosmic oracle, but you've got the full moon here and you've got the right, uh, I'm not sure whether it's a rising or a setting sun and a setting sun, I believe, in this one, which is after when the night ends. So, um, a miracle is around the corner. Don't stop. So this is basically reinforcing focus. Uh, and this is move, packing up and moving on. Now, wands are your passion, um, passion, uh, career, plans, um, creativity. A lot of this is being honest with yourself about what you want in life. And this is about uh, grasping that miracle, packing it up uh, and moving forward with it. Moving into a, a better new world for yourself. So again, the blessing. I don't know if you're having full justice of the... Just put that up my hand there and see whether I can get the light a little bit because it is a beautiful colored card something beautiful soon manifests trust that all is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and all concerned so that's your family and friends business partners etc have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts a blessed gift is on its way so that is what we have to be aware of this week. That's what um, the spirits are telling us to hold in our hearts with us this week and acknowledge on a, both an intellectual and an emotional and a spiritual level, so all three levels, is that uh, bringing yourself into alignment with the opportunities that were being presented in last week's reading, the doors opening, bring yourself into alignment with what it is that you truly want um, and um, grasp the, it's, we're not, it, this reading is telling me we're not there yet, but this is about aligning your energy and your focus with uh, the opportunities and just being on that path of achieving. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Love you all. Stay safe, stay sane, look after yourselves physically and mentally, um, sending light your way, spread the, spread the love, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.